What's up, Fineapples? Welcome back. So today I have a ton of affordable makeup to try for you. Now I did an order on Ulta. I got a couple new things like the new Maybelline primer and also tinted moisturizer, which spring and summertime is the time where I like to use tinted moisturizers or foundations that are super lightweight. I'm not too into like the full glam and full coverage because I get oily and I feel like I've been having more normal skin while your girl is getting more glowy. And I was on my Instagram story and someone said, Oh my gosh, what foundation are you wearing? It's so nice. I'm like, my natural oils. Thank you. Shade me. <laughs> I have been just naturally glowy, as you can already see. Uh, I do have my skincare, but I use very light, like oil-free skincare SPF. I'm already glowy. <sighs> I'm all about affordable makeup. So first off, I'm going to try the Revolution Hyaluronic Fix. This is a hydrating and plumping makeup fixing spray. So I don't know if I should spray this before or after, but I kind of like giving myself a little nice refresher. Oh, okay. Is this like pool water? Do I smell chlorine or tap water pipe? It's pipe water. Okay. Whenever I go to a restaurant, obviously you want to drink more water and all that. And this has been for forever. I'm talking about like 10 plus years I've done this. I do the water test and I drink it and I'm like, okay, is it gonna be good water where I can continuously drink water and be really good? Or is this going to be pipe water? It smells kind of like pipe water. So let's skip on that. We have the Maybelline Fit Me. This is the matte and poreless. And I'm excited because there's an SPF of 20. So that's always great. I feel like I've seen so many high-end primers have an SPF in it, but I haven't really seen any affordable brands. So let's see. That's what it looks like. I thought it was going to be a little bit more. Hmm. Let's see. Does that have a, oh, it kind of has a strong scent too. Probably just the SPF. Okay, well, let's try this baby out. I definitely want to make sure that I say matte and poreless because my skin has been oily, like really glowy, which I don't really mind. I have been wearing like a ton of foundation like this last week and a half, uh, mainly like tinted moisturizer. I've been using that L'Oreal Paradise, which is a water infused foundation, which I love, but Watch my favorites videos and you will see like the products I really love. So there is a little bit of tackiness, but I feel like it's going to help my oils subside. So hopefully I'm going to also be doing a wear test on all these products, which I think is super beneficial because we want to know how these babies wear. Let's add a little bit because my main area with pores is right here. And I'm seeing them say hello and the party has not started yet. While I let that set, I'm going to try out these new palettes. I asked you guys on Instagram, I did a poll. So I asked you if you wanted me to use the ColourPop little quads right here, or if you wanted me to use the new Avani Greg palette, but you guys voted for ColourPop, but just a little sneak peek, I will be doing some looks with this because it looks really fun. But these quads look really nice. They feel very high end. I love the clear packaging. I love how it's very minimal. It's not too much. So let's get right into it. These peachy shades, ooh, you know I love them. So thank you ColourPop for sending me these. Hopefully they work out okay. I'm gonna dip into this shade right here. You guys, I'm a big time fan of ColourPop. I've already prepped my eyes too. And I just think they're overall just such an affordable and great brand. I just love all a lot of their a lot of their products. I do feel like sometimes their launches are a little bit overwhelming, but other than that, I love them. And it was so funny and no shade of color pop, but I just recently did a SpongeBob review. Might I add, I love that palette. And I'm not too into a lot of those kind of collabs where they, you know go with other brands like Hello Kitty, Barbie, all that. And I said in that video, please no one do another Barbie collab. And that day or the next day, Barb, uh, ColourPop dropped a Barbie makeup collab. And I was like, wow, my intuition was just boiling that day. I thought it was so funny because people were tagging me. They're like, ColourPop dropped a Barbie co a collab or people were commenting. I thought it was so funny. Wow, this color is stunning. I love colors like this. Now we're gonna go into like this peachy like rose gold. I'm gonna use my finger. Ooh, that's nice. Wow. That is absolutely stunning. Okay, creamsicle, you already need it. The more I play with makeup, I guess it's just all in your like basic wants and needs. For me now, I'm all about not cute packaging. Like that's I don't know, I don't need it to be extra, I love this, but I love packaging that's convenient to store. 
I used to be really into like, oh, look at the outside and look how it's shaped different. And within like the years, like obviously makeup has evolved, but there's still kind of like those larger palettes where you're like, that thing's ginormous. Where am I gonna put it? I really appreciate like smaller palettes now. I don't know, how do you guys feel? But let's also dip, let's dip into mocktail. I kind of like that yellowy shade too. Ooh, I kind of, am I finger painting today? Why don't I have brushes on deck? Also, excuse the buns. I'm very glad I don't do hair tutorials. I'll be very honest. I have no interest in doing them. And because, I don't know, I just kind of do like the same styles and I put my hair in a bun, but my hair is so clean right now that nothing wanted to work. Like I tried to do braids. I was like, I just washed my hair. It's clean from this morning. I can't do it. And one bun I think is bigger than the other, but I looked at it, I was like, it's kind of like boobies. We all have one that's bigger than the other. So I'm gonna go into the palette mocktail, take a little bit of like this orangey shade, orangey rose gold, and just stick that on the outside. Let's see if it does anything. Ooh, look at that. You guys, these are stunning. These are really nice. I gotta know the price. So once I look it up, that's the price right there. And I know it's gonna be affordable. This one's really nice because it has the two mattes and the two shimmers. Or do they all have two mattes and two shimmers? <laughs> I think they do, just kidding. They all have two mattes and two shimmers. This is really nice. Because my lips are disrespecting the video. They, they feel very crusty right now. I have the Fruit Kiss Caring Lip Balm with 10% almond oil from Essence and it's pineapple. Mmm, it tastes just like the Sun Bum. Do I have it here? Oh yeah, this is one of my favorite chapsticks, FYI Sun Bum, because the pineapple one because one, it tastes good, and two, there's an SPF of 30. It feels really, really good. And Essence is very affordable. So I have a new liner, and it's a LA Girl Jet Setter liquid liner with a brush tip. I wanna see if this is like the NYX one. What is it called? It's the NYX, oh, what is it? Really nice and fine. Is this waterproof? Let's see, probably not. Most, yeah, it's not. Whenever I see water is the first ingredient, I'm like, all right, I know it's not. I've been kind of doing, ooh, a nice flow. Oh, really nice flow. I've been doing like a half, a half liner and so I haven't been going all the way in and I've just been taking it and flicking it out from there so just doing a half a half wing I guess this has very good flow I wish it was waterproof I know when it's good when you can get really precise and make that line right here when I can do that and have that gap then I know that it's it's really precise and has good flow. But when you gotta constantly go over and over, I'm like, all right, I don't know about this one. Try to get them even as possible, right? That's always the goal. I know some days I go out with my liner not even. One eye looks like <laughs> completely smoked out because the wing is so large. I'm like, oh, oh, it's okay. I haven't tried an e.l.f. mascara in a long time. And this is the e.l.f. Lash It Loud. It has like little small teeth, a stronger wand. There's probably no flexibility. Yeah, just a little bit of flex to it. But let's see, my lashes are not the best, but I started using my lash serum recently. So I'm hoping in a couple weeks, there'll be a little bit more full. And I show that serum that I use in my recent Amazon Beauty Favorites. I've used it before already a couple times and it's a really good one. I feel like it's not giving any like volume, but it's just separating and just kind of coating them. I'm excited for these lashes because I was gonna use them in the last video, but it didn't really fit. The My Lash But Better, and these are brand new from Kiss. I found these at Walgreens. So they're very natural looking with a nice flare. And when you feel this band, it's like nothing. It's non-existent. So if you're someone where you still haven't found that perfect like non-existent band, this is gonna be it because they call it the super fine band technology. It says you won't see or feel the band in the back. I thought that was like Kourtney Kardashian. Kourtney? Yeah, Kourtney Kardashian. You have to be very careful because they're just so fragile. When you wear them on their own, it will look like you got lash extensions. FYI, this is such a flexible band. You're probably going to have to use tweezers or a lash applicator because I'm like holding my breath, putting it on. It's so lightweight and flexible that it just like takes off. So if you have like that little itty bitty piece of glue on your finger, you know how sometimes it kind of snags and can pull it off. It's not happening with this lash. <laughs> it feels like nothing. It feels like I just have mascara on. Very nice and light, natural, but it has like the cutest flare. What, what is this one called? It's not, a, oh, no filters. That's what it says, no filters. 
on the front. I have a new brush. I'm gonna try this one from Essence. The last video, go check that out. I tried out, um, uh, the last video on trying affordable makeup, I tried out a new double-ended e.l.f. brush and it is so good, probably one of my favorite brushes. So now the primer sets. The star of the show, sorry, I was trying to find it. The Maybelline Tinted Moisturizer. Now I will say when I posted this, and I never like getting people's opinions, but I got so many like, everybody hated this. Is this the product everybody hates? I heard it sucks. Like all these people, I'm like, no, don't tell me that. Like let me review it. I want to review it. I want to know on my own because I haven't watched anybody's videos. Uh, so let's see though. Uh, I'm gonna give it a good shot because I I, <laughs> I love Maybelline products. <laughs> Let me take a sip of bubbly. <laughs> I personally love Maybelline products. They're one of my favorite foundations. I love a lot of products. L'Oreal Maybelline Top. I got an Ulta and I have the shade 220. So I'm hoping this one matches me and it says it's a tinted moisturizer for a natural look. Fresh feel, buildable coverage, 12 hour hydration. It says for all skin types and it has aloe. So we'll see because I'm more on the oily side now and hopefully this shade matches. Mm. Let's see if it oxidizes. I mean, if anything, I can bronze it up. Doesn't feel as moisturizing as I thought because if you have used a L'Oreal one, the Paradise, it's like a water surge hits your face and it's so moisturizing. This one's very, very natural because I have some scar right here, hyperpigmentation, so we'll see. This color is actually okay. I'm glad I didn't self tan though, cause I was about to. This one feels much drier, or is it this brush? Hold on. I'm gonna use my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki and see if this one blends it out any better. Also, I do have this primer, so it could be that too. Oh, it was definitely the brush. Yeah, this one does blend a little funny over this primer. I don't know if it's the primer or not. Very, very natural. I love this one, let me show you. I love their BB Fresh. I think it's a great product. So I'm kind of curious to see the deal on this one because I'm not gonna exit out. I wanna get my own opinion because sometimes people don't like a product and I absolutely love it and sometimes I love a product and they hate it, so vice versa. This went in with a little bit more to try to see if I can get that hyperpigmentation. I'm curious why people did not like this, so we're gonna see because so far, I'm not mad at it. Very glowy, but I feel like the primer isn't doing it for me. Not very pore filling in my opinion. I feel like it shows my texture and it could, yeah, I feel like I see all my texture. Like it looks kind of scaly. Why do I feel like I see everything? I can't tell if it's the primer that I don't really care for because can you see that? You could see like every little nook and cranny, but let's go on with it because I still have my powder, my concealer, all of that. But first initial, it's glowy. It's very lightweight. I feel like it oxidized a bit now that I put it on. It definitely did, so it's my shade now. I went ahead and got a new concealer and it's from Morphe and it's their Hide and Peak Concealer. It's medium with golden undertones. Hopefully I picked the correct one. I haven't used a Morphe concealer before. This one looks pretty light. How is this medium with golden undertones? Like medium wear, golden wear. Not a lot of coverage. I'm going to go in with a second round because I need it. A light to medium coverage. It's natural and buildable. Next, I'm just going to use my Maybelline Banana Fix Powder. Set right underneath there. But yeah, I have the glitter all underneath my eyes. Darn, I totally forgot to take, ah, I totally forgot to wipe it off. It's everywhere. Then I feel like it's only fitting that I set the tint of moisturizer with a Maybelline powder. You guys, I always use the Super State. It's my holy grail. I love it, it doesn't cake up, and I use it all day long. It's just like a really nice set. Well, I set this, and it doesn't look bad so far, right? I'm not opposed to it so far. So as far as the eyes, I'm just gonna hit them with some mascara at the bottom. Hopefully this mascara will do something. So I've been meaning to use this palette, and it's from Pixie by Petra, and it's the Summer Glow palette, and it's in sheer sunshine, bronzers and blushes and highlights, I believe, because some of these look like bronzers, but they almost have like a more warm tone to them, which I personally enjoy. I don't like anything that's ashy, or nothing toned to really shadow. I like a warm bronze. I don't like any of the ashy. It just personally does not look good on me. Let's start off with the middle. I've not used a Pixie bronzer. Ooh, that's actually really nice. But I am obsessed with Pixie highlighters. If you haven't tried their duos yet, they're beautiful. And now what I forgot to do is that I have a new moisture stick from Pixie as well. And it's their tinted moisturizer blush on the go. I'm still gonna use it. 
but I hope it doesn't disrupt because it's a moisturizer. So I wanted to put the tinted moisturizer with the tinted blush. Three different shades and it says on the glow go or on the glow blush and it's a tinted moisture stick on cheeks and lips. So this is kind of cool. It's like a deodorant, you know, <laughs> right here. Let's do a little swatch of the orange. Let's see what it even looks like. This one is called Juicy. This one is called Fleur, so flower, right here. That one's a little bit more hot pink. And then I have Ruby, which is more of like a red. Oh yeah, that one's large and in charge. That one's super, super red. So you gotta be careful with that one. I'm gonna go with the corally one because obviously that one matches my look the most. So I know it's in a stick, but I'm gonna personally grab it with my finger because if it says on the glow blush, I'm thinking like on the go because it's for lips and cheeks. So let's just kind of tap this and see what happens and just blend this out because sometimes you can just completely ruin your look, but with these products on top of already powders, but this is blending out nicely. I don't know if I would like this with a sponge. I feel like it's kind of too tacky where you need the warmth of your finger. So you have like a really nice natural flush right there. I'm just kind of curious. Let's just go for my lips. I mean, I didn't know how else to put it on. This is awkward. <laughs> oh, it's very cute. I just wanted to try. So far it looks okay. It's a little patchy when I applied it like the blush. So I'm gonna apply a little bit more but so far I would say use the warmth of your finger for sure. Um, let's go into a lippy. So now I have these ones and I don't know if they're brand new. I think they might be. Maybelline sent them over. So this one's in the shade More Magenta. Well, let's see. We can do like a bright lip. When I saw the outer packaging, it kind of looked soft focus. So I was thinking if it was like the soft focus lipsticks from MAC that I like. But let's see. More matte. Yeah, it's not the most moisturizing, but I really like this color. It's called the Ultimate. All right, guys. Well, this is the final look so far. I'm going to do a whole entire wear test. I started pretty late today. I had other things I had to get done. It's 3 o'clock right now. It's 3.11. So let's just say 3 o'clock is when I put the foundation on. That's pretty much when I put it and set it and all of that. Uh, the blush is a little patchy on this area. Can you see that? I don't know if it's because the foundation or like the tinted moisturizer came off. That's what I'm thinking when I started blending, but it doesn't look bad on this side, but I'm just gonna leave it because I don't wanna mess with it anymore. Overall, I'll say right now, the primer, I'm not a fan of it. It doesn't fill in the pores. I still see a lot of texture. It's not really smoothing at all. Yeah, everything just looks very textured, not smooth. But yeah, let's do a wear test and let's see what happens. Okay guys, so I am back. It has been almost three and a half hours. It's like three hours and 20 minutes, but let's just say three and a half. I'm gonna say right off the bat, my oils are definitely coming through with this product and look how much texture and everything. I feel like this product like is really accentuating all of my pores. One, the primer did not do a good job and two, it's just everything settling into it like all of the makeup. Even when I look at, oh, I added highlight FYI from the Pixi palette. I just forgot to show you guys. I ate lunch and look how well this lipstick stayed. I just wanna say that too. And the eyeshadow I'm in love with and the lashes, I forgot I was even wearing lashes. But uh, I'm having issues with the, the whole entire face. Like it looks very textured. I'm looking at everywhere. I'm like, I don't know about this. And I, I don't know if that's what the issue is with other people, but I see my oils pulling through, even through right here. I can only imagine myself after six hours. Oh my gosh, I'm probably gonna be an oily beast. And like I said, I got the patchiness right here, but it wasn't on this side. And I think it is because of the tinted moisturizer that it lifted. All right, guys, well, I am back and let's just get my review now because it's been almost like seven and a half hours and I'm just gonna go to the gym. It's gonna wipe away. I went and I laid down, part of it already disappeared. And I noticed once I put on my studio lights cause I wasn't looking at my shirt and I didn't have a mirror in front of me, there's transfer um, on my shirt and also on like the neckline and stuff. But, so it's definitely not transfer proof. Uh, let's just get straight to business. Let's go to straight to the womps, like the womp. Uh, yeah, everybody was right. I guess when you guys DM'd me, I was gonna give it a good chance because I never ever like just to say, oh, I'm not gonna like it just because everybody else likes it. No, I, I go against a lot of like people's opinions sometimes. Like I may love a product and I'm gonna say I love it. This one, uh-uh. I agree with whoever's saying that they don't like it. It created so much texture. It 
it's almost like, I don't know if you guys have ever edited a photo before, but if you go to detail or if you go to like sharpen, that's how I feel like what my face looks like. I could see every single pore, everything, lots and lots of buildup and just, oh my gosh, the makeup really got gunky. Um, especially in this area, what's so weird is that I feel like I could see slight gray. I don't know what. Maybe it's because I'm oily there the most and it was just like, we don't like you tend to moisturize our battle and it's like gray. I have no idea. It creased right here. It creased right in here. It disappeared from my nose. It disappeared from my forehead, transferred, um, and it shows a ton of texture. I love the Maybelline B BB Fresh, so try that instead uh, because Maybelline is like my favorite, like my number one drugstore brand. If someone said, if you could only wear one drugstore brand, uh, what would you, what what would it be? And it'd be Maybelline. This is not a womp, uh, and they're not gonna have every good product, you know. Um, as far as the primer, poreless, <laughs> poreless wear like pores everywhere. I see everything. So many pores, so much texture, nothing laid on good. It's not my favorite at all. And I also feel like why I want to start with this is that that this is the product that I think that messed up the other products because. Pixie highlights lay on bomb, but when I look at this, I just see texture and it just looks like it's not my favorite. Even when I touch it right now, it's getting splotchy and it's coming off with a slight touch and I love them. So I'm going to have to try it on its own without these products and along with the Pixie blush. I'm going to give it another try because it looks good on this side, but it does look a little blotchy. So, and the face product looked like it got a little muddy as well. So I have to give it a go without this because I think it altered all the other products. Now, so this, I can't really say. Let me play around with them because I think this might be a winner, but they are emollient, so we gotta see. And I use my favorite powder to set, and this is Oilville. It's, well, you guys already saw it when I put on the Tinted Moisturizer. It was very, very glowy. Now, I know I started saying, oh my gosh, there's no coverage, whatever. I love this Morphe concealer. It's great. It didn't crease like any more than what it naturally would with other concealers that I use underneath my eyes like it looks good it's a great everyday conceal I love it it doesn't make my eyes look dry so this was definitely a winner and also where the foundation was in place so mind you let's take notes um the eyeshadow I love it look nothing faded it looks great I'm obsessed with these I want to see what other colors they have because this is a product I would totally get on my own I love the packaging very ooh, it just feels good it, it feels like a cute little $20 Huda Beauty you know how she has like those little small ones that's how it feels like but I like this packaging better I like how it's clear very simple and you can see the colors it's perfect you don't have to guess like what palette is this so I really like that can we give it up for the lipstick, for the talking, the eating, the, um, you know, drinking and all of that? Look how long it lasted. Let's do, look, it barely transferred and I just hit my mouth kind of hard, um, but it is great. So they have a bunch of other colors. Uh, these are the ones that they sent to me, but I'm sure they have a lot. Let me do a little swatch of this nude because I feel like it's called more buff. I feel like people would like this one. Ooh. Yes, that's a great everyday color. Now, as far as the lashes, it feels like I'm wearing nothing. The Your Lash But Better, highly recommend. Uh, these were in the style No Filter. As far as the e.l.f. mascara, love it for the bottom lashes. It made my bottom lashes look super good. I did a second coat and I love the separation that makes them look nice and long obsessed love this one for bottom lashes gonna try it for my top but like i said i don't have the best top lashes all right guys well that is it i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i have so many more videos to come i'll see you on the next one Mwah. Whoop, whoop. i have to come back on because i'm taking off the makeup that felt so heavy i didn't realize how heavy it felt until i started taking it off um, and my skin looks better without it. <laughs> like, it literally looks way better without it. It was so heavy. Okay, that is all.